There's sort of a confluence of reasons why so many cyclists live and train in Boulder. One is obviously the altitude. My name is Lester Vinegar. I'm the general manager of University Bicycles. We've been here since 1985. Doug started the shop with 15 rental bikes and a toolbox, and it's grown into one of the largest shops in the world. Because of the altitude, it's been a place for racers to come and train and live uh, a healthy lifestyle and just prepare for the races all around the world. People here tend to measure their fitness and uh, capabilities by uh, the height of the mountains they climb, where they live. Uh, we're at about five and a half thousand feet here and just that lack of oxygen does special things to the body and the blood um, that seem to fit in with cycling. And when we go down to sea level, we feel like superheroes. I grew up in Golden, Colorado, so half an hour down the road, and uh, being born and raised at altitude, I don't know. Look at all the Colombians running around in the pro peloton now, like, uh, kind of in the same boat, I guess. We're at about 5,000 feet or whatever that is, 15, 1,700 meters. Um, so it's good for training, you know, to, to go from, you know, the rides here start at that and go up to 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters. Yeah, I've spent uh, two weeks in Boulder, and yeah, it's completely different sensations uh, compared to racing or training on normal sea level. So you get the altitude, which is obviously good for the red blood cell generation, but then there's also several canyons that go up to, uh, you know, to the Rocky Mountains. Depending on um, what discipline of cycle you're in, it's if you want to do time trial practice, whatever else, just North Boulder here, they've got great roads with not a lot of elevation change. Um, if you want to practice your climbing, you've got you know, a sustained hour-long climbs. We have everything from flats with wind to, to grand tour length climbs to super steep climbs. I mean, we have every bit of terrain a road cyclist could, could dream of training on. Uh, yeah, we have a little bit of everything. Um, if you want to like get out on a time trial bike, you can stay flat and go out east. You can ride flat all the way to, uh, I don't know, Missouri if you want to. But uh, you can turn, turn up into the hills. Um, there's no way you're getting through those mountains in a day. If you're into, uh, into dirt roads, like it's probably the place to be. Um, if you go up by uh, like Sugarloaf and uh, up towards Gold Hill and stuff like that, that's some pretty awesome stuff up there. I mean, really, in Boulder, the terrain lends itself to any kind of road cyclist. Um, it, because we're at the base of the Rocky Mountains, if you head east towards Nebraska, it's flat. Um, if you head west into the Rocky Mountains, it's straight up. Uh, one of the people that lives in Boulder is Andy Hampston, who won the Giro d'Italia in 1988. And he, there are a few climbs here, particularly Magnolia Road, which is the steepest climb, paved climb in Boulder. And he said he used that specifically to prepare for the Giro because it most closely emulated the steep climbs that he found in, in Italy. Yeah, I was born in Boulder, Colorado, and. 1990, my dad was actually born in Boulder. Um, so we got a second generation Boulderite. Uh, a lot of transplants, a lot of people moved to Boulder from East Coast, West Coast. It's all I know, you know? It's like the mountains and the flatlands. I always loved climbing because it meant that I could descend. So if there's anything that living in Boulder uh, gave me great access to, it was training for, for being able to descend. You take a young cyclist who wants to prove themselves 
And if they live somewhere where it's flat and windy, they might not be so inspired. But again, when there's so much good riding at their doorstep, they have the ability to go out, enjoy themselves, but also find out what they're capable of. Flagstaff, 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 Flagstaff. It's definitely the most iconic climb for us because it's right out of town and anyone can, can ride up it and it's relatively safe to do so. And it, it, it just, uh, it lets you kind of oversee the front range, oversee Boulder as you ride up the, up the climb. And it, it, you can time yourself and compare your times to other people or you can just go up as a matter of uh, just getting physical exercise. Flagstaff is not super long in comparison to like, the climbs in the Alps, but it's quite difficult. Um, it's around 30 minutes if you're going if you're going pretty fast, and that's a long climb for me. I think that's a long climb for anybody. Today, Flagstaff is one of the most iconic because it's right here in Boulder. You don't have to drive or ride very far to get to the base of the climb. It's also a hairpin climb, which. I don't know, when you ride up Al Duez or some of the big peaks and you experience the, uh, the, the hairpins, they're really enjoyable to ride. You can go from anywhere in Boulder, up Flagstaff to the top and back down in an hour and a half and climb 3,500 feet. And it's steep, I mean, there's, some, there's a wall on Flagstaff uh, that feels like it never ends and it really no matter how fit you are it never gets any easier you might go up it a little quicker it's very very difficult left hand canyon is another fantastic big long climb um, starts out on the edge of town and you cycle all the way up to ward one continuous climb and that's also a, a beautiful route very popular I really like the climb up to Brainerd Lake at the top. It's the highest you can kind of get in Boulder County, but uh, up at the top there you have these uh, Mount Audubon and these, these treeless, massive 13,000 foot peaks. As long as the sun is out, it's pretty tolerable, even in the winter. So you can have a 20 inch snowstorm one day and two days later all that snow is gone. So it is rideable all year round. It's not too bad because it's so dry, even when it's cold, it's the sun's out. That's the beautiful thing about Boulder is we get 300 days of sun, or at least that's the quote about the town. When you think of like, we have so many beautiful days and just so much fantastic scenery on every ride you go on, whether it's a mountain bike ride or a road ride. So there's, there's never a lack of beautiful places to be. It's the altitude of the, the area, it's the weather, um, it's all the, the amazing roads, and then it's the people. Uh, people like Michael Eisner, who started the Red Zinger uh, Classic, um, and people like uh, Davis Finney and Andy Hampson, who come from here and uh, have helped make it that the place that it is. You have Davis's and Connie's son, Taylor, now, and so it's just been this perpetual uh, turnover of bike racers that have fed off one, one, you know, one another and trained with each other. And it, it's just an amazing community if you want to ride your bike fast. My dad brought me to my first bike race, which was just out uh, in basically on East Pearl. And we would, he would ride with me all the time when I first started. I also rode with Michael Berry, who used to race for Team Sky and Discovery Channel. Um, and he showed me a lot of the routes up in the mountains. There's always a crew of kind of U.S. professionals hanging around, like Chris Baldwin, uh, Phil Zajac, Ben Day, uh, guys that I could race against when I was still in high school. Uh, there's a joke that living in Boulder is a little bit like living in the Olympic Village. I mean, you know, literally you go out on a ride and there's a national champion and there's an Olympian and there's somebody who won a stage at a Grand Tour. The other sort of running joke is, you know, with Strava, I mean, other people that live in other areas might focus on KOMs. If you live in Boulder, you don't focus on KOMs because Taylor Finney has the KOM or Lachlan Morton has the KOM. I mean, these are national, international level athletes.
Boulder is a super fit town. Um, it's kind of funny. I grew up there, but now I left and I live in California. Everyone else moves to Boulder to be an elite athlete, so I left. Um, but I was born and raised there. You know, I had a different Boulder than a lot of people because uh, you know it, was, it wasn't that elite sports scene. It was my high school friends and. But of course, growing up in Boulder, my entire group of friends in high school all had like their sport that they were excellent at, you know, like everyone has a sport in Boulder. Everyone is at ease there and like super happy and positive and you've got so many inspiring people to like talk to or like hang out with. Everyone's happy, almost like it's almost too much happiness, but uh, that works for me, so. Yeah, Boulder's a special place. It's the bubble, you know, it has its own set of rules that are it's just it's ridiculous you can make fun of it more than you can enjoy it but it's also it's home and there's a reason that boulder's better